There is one thing that is guaranteed when the Carolina Panthers meet the Atlanta Falcons this weekend. Ugly football. That is a 100% guarantee, which is partly why the get-in price for this game is somewhere around 5 bucks. Here's what we know. want to make sure I get it straight from the weather app. Temperatures likely are going to be in the 40s during this game. There's over a 50% chance of rain all day, certainly during the 1 o'clock window for Panthers-Falcons. Nobody's going to be there. Winds are expected to be at speeds between 8 to 15 miles per hour and sometimes can go even quicker than that, depending on what time of day you look at. Chris Tabor, Panthers interim coach, was talking about the weather, and this is what he had to say. The weather is coming in. That's what that's what they're saying. I'm going to kind of rely back on my uh, uh, years in the AFC North and NFC North, uh, and I, that hopefully that comes into, into play there. We're looking forward to it. We're going to embrace it. Uh, with regards to the passing game and, and all those things, I think those are things that you just have to evaluate when you get out there. I mean, I don't, I don't want to misquote here, but sometimes the weather can be projected for one thing and not be the other, or vice versa. So we'll play it as we see it. Meteorologists can be wrong? No. This, Whoa. this is weather. Assuming there is a lot of wind and a lot of rain and it's cold, this is weather that suits running the football. And even though Carolina's been better at that the last couple of weeks with Tabor as the coach, this is weather that better suits the number six rush offense in the NFL, which belongs to the Atlanta Falcons, Algier, Bijan Robinson, heck, even Desmond Ritter to a degree. And as good as the Panthers' defense has been this year, not very good against the run. They certainly weren't that great against Alvin Kamara last week. So that's a problem as well. Panthers offense, they haven't hit 20 points in a game in over two months. Seven straight games, Carolina has not hit 20 points. Five of those seven, they were held to fewer than 14, fewer than two touchdowns. It's hard to imagine Sunday's going to be any different than that. Bryce Young throwing the ball in the rain, probably not a good recipe for him. But this is the big difference in the game. At this point in the year, it kind of is similar to bowl games. When you're trying to forecast what happens in bowl games and what happens in December in the NFL, ask yourself, who's the game matter more to? Who has more at stake? And obviously, the Carolina Panthers do not have as much at stake as Atlanta does. Carolina has been completely demoralized. Don't know what they have to play for. Atlanta is tied for first place in the NFC South. So Atlanta's a better football team than Carolina, already beaten the Panthers by two touchdowns earlier this year. Granted, that was the opener. Carolina, a lot of new parts, but throughout the year, it's bare true. Atlanta, better than Carolina is, and I think the weather suits them and the motivation factor favors them too. Give me Atlanta by double digits, 23 to 13. Send me that cash out, family.